Hi fitness friends, this is Stacy, and welcome back. Today I am out in Arizona at the Santan Regional Park and I am hiking and I'm hoping that you'll join me today for a walking workout. All you need is some space to move in your house. Go ahead and just join along for a nice walk and some good scenery. Today we'll be walking a little over a mile through the Arizona desert. Please try to use good posture as you enjoy your walk. Stand really tall, keep your eyes on the horizon with the chin parallel to the ground, shoulders aligned over your hips, allow both the arms to swing, and just, you know, be conscious of rest breaks as needed. We're going to warm up here, starting with 120 beats per minute, and we're currently walking about three miles an hour. This is your warm up, so let's just start moving. During today's workout, you can choose to walk at your own leisurely pace and just enjoy the scenery, or I will cue you to move your body in different ways and help to incorporate some more muscles than just our walking muscles. This will help make it a little bit more of a well-rounded workout for you. So up to you how you move today. Like I said, I just want you to enjoy your workout. Thinking about your tall posture as you're walking and your abdominals engaged, let's bring those shoulders into action. So start taking those shoulders and rolling them up, back, and down. You can alternate them or do them both at the same time. We just want to get the upper body loosened up. This is your warm up. So here we're trying to get the body warm. We're trying to get the muscles flexible. We want to get that heart rate to start gradually going up. So we want to start moving more of our muscles. And then after doing some of those shoulder rolls, let's go ahead and bring those hands down to your sides as we're walking and just go ahead and spin those wrists around in some circles, doing some wrist circles. In order to stretch out the backs of our legs, our hamstrings and our calf muscles, let's start bringing those heels forward. So while you're walking in place, just drive your heels forward into a heel dig, right, left, right, left, and then if you want to incorporate some upper body, you can even add a few bicep curls. So bicep curl with heel digs, right and left. Now let's do about four or five more on each leg. And then after that, just return to that nice strong march, adding those arm swings. So your arms by your side, you have a slight fist, and you're just swinging your arms. Your arms are gonna kind of just brush the sides of your body. Let's start opening up the hips a bit. Let's start walking wide four times, then narrow four times. So we're gonna go wide three, two, one, narrow three, two, one. Wide three, two, one, narrow three, two, one. Keep it going. Go ahead and bring that back to your regular march here because we're going to go ahead and start changing our tempo on our music. Did you notice the change in music? Yep, that tempo is a little bit faster. We're now up to a little over three and a half miles per hour in our marching speed. So if you need to calm it down and go slower, you're welcome to do so. If you want to get the heart rate up a little bit more with me here, we're just going to go ahead and move along a little bit faster, still using that great posture, still using the arm swing as you go.
You remember those wide and narrows we did before to warm up the hips? Let's go back to doing those, but this time only do one wide, one narrow. So I want you to start marching wide, wide, narrow, narrow, wide, wide, narrow, narrow, or out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Let's do that about four more times and then take it back to that really strong march. Let's go back to those wides and narrows, outs and ins again, but this time let's make it forward and backwards to so the V step. So a forward, wide, wide, back, narrow, narrow, wide, wide, narrow, narrow, in a V fashion. So you want to just do a little bit of forward movement with that wide and a little backward movement with that narrow. Otherwise, a regular wide, narrow will work. Bring it back to your regular march. Time for a small water break. So you can keep your feet moving during your water break or you can take a little recovery time here. Just grab a sip of water and then we'll get moving again. Are you ready to get started again? Let's continue. Let's try to keep that heart rate up by following along at that tempo. Those arms are still pumping by your sides. What a beautiful day it is out here in the desert, isn't it? We haven't seen many people on the trail, but here comes a big group, and I think I see horses in the distance. Time for those wide narrows again. So once you're ready, wide, wide, narrow, narrow, or those wide, narrow V steps.
whatever you're doing, make sure you're really pumping those arms. You want the whole upper body involved as well. Bring it back to that strong march. Just a little bit further and then we're going to stop for our first station of bodyweight exercises. Let's get ready for our first station. This one is just body weight squats. You don't need any equipment. Just stand really tall, feet hip width apart, shoulders relaxing down. Just start by shifting those hips back as you bend your knees. You can put those hands in front of you to help you in balance. We're just gonna try to get about 10 to 15 of them here. You can go slower, faster, but try to use good form. Once you're done with your squats, go ahead and grab a sip of water. Just take a little rest and then let's get ready to move again. Let's continue. On this next segment, let's go to a three, two, one tap. So you want to do three, two, one tap, three, two, one tap, three, two, one tap, three, two, one tap. Now, if you have some space, let's start taking that forwards and back. So it's going to be three, two, one tap forward, three, two, one tap backwards. So a little bit of movement forwards and backwards here. Can you make your movements any stronger, a little bit more deliberate, a little bit more powerful? Once you're ready, we're going to bring that back to a walk in place. Again, thinking about that tall form, shoulders relaxed and down, ears are away from the shoulders, and those arms are pumping by your sides. Take a strong breath. Let's go back to some of our wides and narrows we've done before. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow, wide, wide, narrow, narrow. And again, back to that really strong march. Time to 
time for another water break. Again, you can always keep those feet moving during your water break or you can take this time to recover. Let's enjoy a little of the scenery here while we are taking that water break. It's time to get moving again, and please note we are about halfway through. Hang in there. Pump those arms, let's get up that hill. Remember our three, two, one tap. Let's go back to that. Three, two, one tap. Three, two, one tap. You can keep on doing it in place or a little forwards and backwards movement. Maybe one or two more times, then go back to your strong march in place. We're coming up on our next station. This one's going to be body weight lunges. So let's go ahead and get ready for those. We're going to alternate right and left. Stand tall. And just engage your abdominals and then step forward with your right leg. Step back in and then step forward with the left leg and then step back in. If you're needing assistance with your balance, just take those arms and bring them out to the sides. But just keeping those shoulders relaxed this whole time here. Another option, if you want to add a little bit more upper body, is go ahead and just do a bend and extend of those elbows, which is also called a bicep curl as you step forward and then return. Just a few more. Can you sink any lower into those legs? Once you're done with those lunges, it's another reminder here for another sip of water. In this next segment, instead of just marching in place, let's go ahead and do a step tap side to side. So all I want you to do is step right, tap, step left, tap, step, step, right and left, side to side. It can be a big step tap, a small step tap, just side side stepping. Once you have your side side motion going here, go ahead and take those hands and bring them in front and do a reach and pull back. Reach and pull, reach and pull with those arms. Keep the arms tucked into the body.
about four more of those, and then let's take it back to our strong march. How's your posture doing? Are you standing really tall with those shoulders relaxed and down? Are your abdominals engaged? And are those arms moving, swinging by your sides as we move? If not, let's take a moment to correct that posture and then keep on moving. Let's go back to the side steps again. Step, tap, side, side, right, left. Just step to the side, right. Step to the side, left. Step taps. And with these step taps, let's go ahead and just add some bicep curls. So up and down, bend and extend of those arms. about four more and then back to our march. We have a few hills ahead. Let's really pump those arms. Take a strong breath. That energy will get us to the end here. Hang in there. Remember those wide and narrow walks that we were doing before? Let's go back to them one more time today. So wide, wide, narrow, narrow, or out, out, in, in, and they can be V-shape again if you'd like with that forward and backwards movement. Let's go.
let's move a little bit stronger here. About four more, then back to our march. And one more time, let's go back to our three, two, one, tap, three, two, one, tap, three, two, one, tap. And then once you're ready, a little forward backwards motion with that would be awesome. Let's bring that back into our strong march. Did you know we're almost at the end of our hiking trail? Let's bring our march tempo down a notch here. Let's try to follow the beat down a little bit. Again, stand with really tall posture as you march, and then maybe roll those shoulders up, back, and down a few times.